All right. Marking some timber. There's some things I wanted to show people, you know, when I'm marking timber. But right now, at this particular moment, I'm doing uh, boundary lines. So, you can see out there. You see on that tree, there's the double blaze. I mean, there's a lot of different codes of what marks mean and what they don't mean. You know, don't don't take mine for what we do in our area. How I do it is how they're doing it in your area. Each forester does things different. I am not a forester. Um, I'm just marking this. The boundary lines, I have a GPS unit that allows me to do that. And I will mark out the timber we'd like to harvest. I need to mark the boundary lines, obviously, so we don't cross them. And so I know there's a buffer zone. I'm not allowed to go within so many feet of the boundary. And there's a stream here, and we won't get near that either. So I mean, we don't want to get into that kind of stuff. But but typically, the double would be a boundary line. I'm using hot pink here because it's the color of the month. No, it's just a different color than what I'm going to mark my trees with. And I've come to a corner, and the triple triple blaze means corner. Now, if you look, you can see there's an old corner here. Because someone else, there's a college up on top of the hill here. And uh, they had some stuff done in the past. I believe there's a sewer line. You see this road here. There's a sewer line that runs into that for a housing development up on the hill or a couple houses up there. Um, truly beautiful forest. There's some... We're going to be on this side, hopefully. Um, that side over there is, once again, college property. Um, it, it's, I mean, it'd be ready to be harvested, too. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and get that, too. But we'll see. Um, but here's something I wanted to show you. You see here, they, they did their corners the same way, the triple marks. And you can see these here, these are actually axe marks where someone, like, kind of hacked at it with a little axe or a little, like, machete type thing. Those are called blazes. Those are a lot more permanent. I like to use paint because ribbons, you get somebody that doesn't really agree with what you're doing with, you know, one neighbor doesn't agree with what someone's doing with another neighbor's property, they'll tend to tear your ribbons down. You can see the old mark here. This is the old layout. And uh, it's pretty neat, you know, two other, three other people have been here before me because you have the blazes, three or, or three blues on this side. Let me see back so you can see that. See the three blues? They're old and they're faded, but you can see them there. And then uh, there's the three ribbons, and then there's my mark. Handiwork of nuts. So I'm going to continue up the hill. We'll do some more videos here. Um, I'll do some in-depth thing on when I'm picking trees and why I pick the certain trees I pick. So, alrighty, I will talk to you guys. Can you see them? All right. Couple gobblers. There's a couple over here. Oh, I just climbed up this damn cliff, so my heart's racing. Sorry if I if I'm holding the camera, I'm shaking. I'm in shape, but that'll that'll put a good man down. That one's steep. Let's see. I can't zoom in no far. There's one. One, two. Three, four. I see four of them. Nice birds. Healthy. It's cool to see them. Well, my battery's about to die, so if this cuts out, I'm sorry. I was going to show you some grading trees today. I'll have to do that in another video. I lost my stick, my grading stick, my Biltmore stick. Had it in the backpack here and got pulled out by a vine. And today's lesson is, <laughs> and I, did you ever do something that when it happens, like, oh, you dummy, and you ain't got nobody to blame but yourself? Well, I just had that today. I had one of those Biltmore sticks, and I always said, man, I should really buy another one of those just in case, just in case I lose it or it breaks or, you know. I'll have one because that's something that you just can't go down to the store and buy. And even at the show, I was like, man, I should buy one of these. And it just kind of... <clears throat> but here I am, lost my stick. And <laughs> I can't scale any timber accurately. Oh, and I'm under a tight crunch. But, oh well, I'll have to pick one up at a place north of here on Friday. It is Wednesday. 
But what I wanted to show you is look at those woods. Look how far you can see. I mean, these are just huge, huge woods. And you see a section here or there's a two or three big trees got blown down in here. Like they fell, they're just up there. You can't see them. They're pretty wild. I mean, there's one of the logs there. It's pretty old. But look how the forest has regenerated. And it's got thick and there's cover and feed for the animals. That's what we're trying to do on this particular piece. We're going to open this up, not taking everything. You know, we're opening up, taking out some of the more mature trees and some of the diseased trees to let sunlight in and let secondary generation, secondary regeneration, I guess you should call it. That might not be the proper term, but that's what we're looking for. So if you see the open, and probably I'd say that's probably eight year growth there, maybe five year growth. Yeah, probably five year growth. Because those are cherry trees, they rot pretty fast. That's what we're going for. So hopefully I'll get a shtick back soon and we can do a small video on marking some trees. I've done it before, I'm gonna do a little more in depth. So over and out.